And then let's let's go back to the free to play. Yeah, Tropical Fish was doing some good stuff there too. Let's go back to free to play. Start the start the arena, start the prediction. I got to say too, I I went to bed like 20 minutes early last night because the uh Android version of the game was not like available. It just kept saying checking Firebase dependencies. So I was like, fuck it. I guess I'll just go to bed at like 10. <laughs> oh, dude, now we're talking. Duck at the back. Dude, this is me. I'm like a sniffing banana right now. Recovered from your extra long stream yesterday? Yeah, maybe this. Maybe that's why, like, uh, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. Is because I streamed so long yesterday. I mean, what? We were live for, like, five hours plus 40 minutes? Oh, man. Jeez, no wonder I'm feeling run down. Um, you, you can roll the otter and just pray it doesn't hit the duck. You're a piece. I mean, surely it wouldn't happen twice. Okay, there's comedic timing. <laughs> I don't mind selling a duck anyway. I mean, but honestly, the duck's kind of chilling right now. Two, three, there's no disrespect meant there. I think we win these. You got it. I, look, be mad. Be mad. Don't care, okay? You got to roll a dog. If you see a dog, this is the one thing I want to say. Because people always go like, oh, you can't roll a dog. You, a dog again, dog, dog. If you see one early, you got to take it. Just because it's the first scaling engine that actually shows up. If you don't take it, like you're, you're playing with fire. Now, the good thing is we can roll anything else with a dog. Like, we, this doesn't mean we're not going to roll Hedgehog build. If anything, having more reliable sources for HP probably means we're more likely to roll Hedgehog builds. Because we got this beautiful little HP just chilling right now. This squad's kind of sick, though. We, we're going to lose really badly to people who ran duck meta, but still. I don't think this is duck meta. I think this is just snail meta. We draw these? That's actually, like, merciful. Don't lie to me, Walt. Please don't hit my fish. Let's go. I thought it was going to hit the fish. I was about to get real cheesed. Don't hit the fish. I accept this and substitute my own. You know what? I, I don't know what's going to stick around. Let's assume that maybe the otter is going to stick around a little longer. Because it has a nice buff potential just waiting there for us. Roll a little cricket at the front. Nine, seven, ten, six. Come on. NL, the last few episodes of Isaac were very pog filled. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh. I don't know what's like. I, I'm, I'm choosing violence in every Isaac episode. I, I still can't believe. I like blacked out during that whole rant about James Corden. I don't even really dislike the guy that much, but like. I mean, I don't dislike the guy at all. I just dislike his content. <laughs> and how popular his content is, which is not even really fair. Honestly, dude, send me a badger. Why not? Let's get funny with it. And then let's honestly like sell this 3-4 fish that sucks. And then I'm just going to do a buy, sell, make our dog a little stronger, honestly. And then we, we can still roll a cricket at the front. And then I don't even remember yesterday's episode. I was just, oh, you know, I was going off on the Game Awards. And then I, I had a little remorse afterwards. Because I was like, look, Jeff Keighley's just doing his best to bring gaming to the masses. But I did, when I looked at, I just get pissed off when, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, hold on. This is this is an important moment for everybody involved here. We need to get this ox going. Beautiful. Then we sell that. Okay. I just like I I we've reached the point of like 
indie the the games that get nominated for like indie game of the year anymore like i'm not saying they're not good because that's not fair but they're not like brave okay like some of them i i like to be fair but i'm basically just mad at nothing so let's just preface it there but it's always like a few games that I think are genuine masterpieces, and then a lot of, like, indie game studio tried to make big AAA Sony third-person action-style game, but, like, with emotion attached to it as well. And I'm like, I don't want that. Just nominate Super Auto Pets. It's the most addictive game of the year. They did nominate Inscription, which is deserved. Don't get me wrong. That's... Like, the fact that Super Auto Pets is all... It's getting, like, a groundswell of attention from streamers... And everybody that appears to be in the, uh, you know, traditional press is like, I can hear you, but I won't. I'm like, why are you missing out? Why are you missing out? It's free. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Dude, I just like, I'm, I'm not mad or whatever, but like, our dog needs some HP. <laughs> It's decent fun, but game of the year? I don't think so. Does nobody else see how absolutely fricked this is? What the heck? My game crashed. Game of the year edition? I don't think so. Oh, no, no, no. We're back. We're back. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're, Lord forgive me. You're going to get me started on like the same thing that I always talk about, which is like there's a fallacy not, in, in my opinion, it's a fallacy, not just in games uh, press, but also with consumers that like nothing with a story can or nothing without a story can ever be game of the year. And I'm like bro, games, that's the beauty of games. I'm not saying story based games can't be amazing, but they also have this cool mechanical layer. I get it. At the Oscars, you would probably not be like, oh, the movie with like the best cinematography should win best picture every year. But for me, like games, most of the fun comes from mechanics, which is why I look at a situation like Super Auto Pets and I'm like, so put some respect on this game's name. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm I'm the thinky right now. You got to try this. Please give me nine HP. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Does nobody else see how absolutely fricked this is? Now, what am I... All that just to roll a slightly stronger badger? Like, what's wrong with me? Okay, definitely... Def juice me. <laughs> okay, okay. This could still work. No, it's not an ego thing. Like, honestly, the less people that uh, appreciate Super Auto Pets, the better it is for me on, like, a analytics level. I'm just like, you know... Stop nominating, like, 7 out of 10 indie games that would have made you cry if you could still feel something. Look, that's needlessly rude, <laughs> but you get the idea. <laughs> okay, I mean, 23 and 8. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Really, we love to see that. We love to see that. Give me something like that. 24 and 8. Okay, no problem. Uh, Freeze a spider. That's a big just-in-case copium energy. Yeah, I'd rather have a, a, rather have a, rather have one of those out there, I guess. You know what? You gotta buff the dog here. Then we just hope we don't get sniped. Like, I get the idea that people, like, look at this and they say, like, I don't put respect on that game's name because the art is literally just a bunch of emoji. But, like, get over it. <laughs> okay, we definitely lose this round. We got two, we got two left anyway. This year was kind of a weak year for games. Yeah, so like they should nominate Super Auto Pets because it's a, a great game. You lost that because of the mosquito snipe? Oh, are you kidding me, man? Because of the mosquito snipe on my monkey? No, give me a crocodile for now. We have no level twos. That's a sad story. The dog needs the buff. I like this is upsetting to me, but I do think it kind of needs to be done. This is a this is a damn mess, man. This is a damn mess. 
Now, we, we're investing everything we have in, like, scaling right now. If we get... Down to lethal. That is where I have to pop out of the woodwork and say, you know what, the time has come. We're definitely going to be on lethal. Okay, now we got to... We got to mix it up. It's a fun game, but it doesn't do anything new. Bro, look at the nominees for game of the year. This, uh, people will really be like, it's fun, but it's not innovative. Nominated for game of the year. Zelda 8, Metroid 15. The new third-person action game from Sony that's in a different uh, universe this time, but stars exactly the same people. Listen, I'm not trying... I'm just... I'm, I'm not trying to say those games shouldn't be up there. I'm just saying they need to put some more respect on mechanics-driven games. And don't give me the, the fallacious argument that is like, oh, this game doesn't do anything new when they're nominating sequel, 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 franchise, reboot, sequel, franchise, spiritual, successor, free, sequel, sequel. Just nominate Super Auto Pets and I'll shut up. Is that, that's all I need to say, okay? If you just nominate that, it doesn't even have to be game of the year. How about debut indie? There's a debut indie category. It's like two, two developers from Denmark made this game. It's, it, it, it doesn't get more debut than that. They're going up against studios that have like $50 million in VC funding. Just And, and again, I'll stop telling the truth. I'm easy to silence if you just put some respect on the game's name because it deserves it. Anyway. Okay, you have to go. That's, that's a given. You have to stay. It's like Gogurt, but to stay. At this point, we might as well <laughs> just send you. <laughs> and then... Believers, do you trust me? You remember when I was like, Believers, you're in good hands? That was before we went seven rounds without seeing even one more dog. Please. And I see no scorpion. I see a horse. There might be a chance here. I think we win this. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Disco Elysium was more mechanically innovative. It they didn't come out in the same... On, it's, I'm not trying to... What is it, it, it? Do people let you get away with these techniques when you have discussions with them in real life? Sure, Dune was good, but is it as good as Citizen Kane? They're not in the same period. They're not in competition for the same awards, and there's no reason they can't coexist. It's a disingenuous form of reasoning. Voice crack. Ah, ah, ah. But it's a voice crack due to some form of congestion. As a, as a result, that doesn't mean I lose the argument. Plus, I didn't say a single word wrong. If I mispronounced the word or stuttered, I would accept that I lost the argument. But I didn't. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, I didn't stutter. Super Auto Pets versus Loop Hero, though. I mean, we, this is something that we can just solve mathematically. Super Auto Pets playtime, 96.7 hours. That's merely on the PC version. Steam is, like, crashed. I'll tell you, Loop here, I probably got four and a half hours in. <laughs> the, Steam, the Steam client is not working well. Yeah, look, the joke makes itself. Um, how are we going to get this? Sleep hero? Come on. That's just rude. Although I did think they need to make a sleep OG emote. Which is when somebody talks so much that you fall asleep. 
And it rhymes with PeepoG, which is perfect. Like, and the way some people ask, like, how would you use it in chat? It's so simple. At the end of an Among Us game, when you fall asleep because somebody can't handle that they lost, and they say, but actually, I should have won because you were schmoving. Even if you weren't actually an imposter, you marinated me into thinking you're an imposter by schmoving, which you never do in electrical unless you're going to go vent or you're the sheriff or you're the jester. So I can't believe that I can understand why you thought I was marinating you, but really it was your fault that I lost. That's when you sleep OG. That's when you put Sleep OG out there. It's like, you're talking, I'm writing, but you're boring me. I think Sleep OG could be the next... It, it could take the world by storm. We need... You to... We, we need another unit that does something. So I genuinely think we need to just get a scorpion <laughs> and... That's the only thing I respect right now, is a scorpion. Um, you're not a scorpion, for the record. You're not a scorpion. Okay, um, this is not good. We have one unit that does anything, and it's done. Okay. Um, yeah, this is going to be a loss. I, I'm just being straight up with you. I do feel, first off, congratulations, doubters. Your, your faith has been rewarded, or perhaps your faithlessness uh, as we run one back. But also, I feel like we kind of got, like, we just got stuck in the mud. Like, we never got any levels on our animals except for the damn badger. Take that. Not a great early squad. I always go Danish geeks, man. We did we did have a 27-4 dog for a bit. You're not wrong. Hey, we draw these. Thoughts on sacking lives for ducks? I, I think it can totally work. See what this hits first. Okay, if it hits you, then we have to do this. Straight up, this is a strange situation, but I think an ant on 3 HP is going to be more valuable than getting the level up to 2. Then we get to save for the next round as well. I'm, I'm a, well, uh, unfortunately their cricket was buffed, so that, that did not play out the way I thought it would. This isn't going to go how you think. So duck is still D tier? No, I think, like, duck is, duck is probably, like, S tier now. This is pretty big, honestly. I think you, you probably take an elephant at the back and then use your snail. Now you got a 5-6 elephant just chilling there. Disrespect, but... No way it's S tier. I, I for real think it's S tier. I mean, like, look at Rajat 24. He thinks it's S tier. It's round three. He's rolling three ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Three base level ducks. And you know what's messed up? I I bet he's gonna get there. I I firmly believe that he can make it. So here's the plate. This is where we just root for miracles. We buy a dodo. We pill the ant so that it's more likely to hit the dodo. It's called skill difference. Then you sell the beaver, even though it's an 8-7, buff the dodo. Then you buy the otter, and it's a 50-50 to buff the dodo. Ooh, peace! Okay, I'm thinking. I mean, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> Ooh! Something like this. Dude, I don't care. If we get to a level 3 otter, and then we have a... Uh, this is a loss, by the way. But if we get to a level 3 otter... And then we get a bison, that's 10 wins. Please don't buff my duck. Thank you. That's fine. I'll live with that. <laughs> 
okay, okay. Sell me. Buy me, buff, buff me, buff me, you son of a. Okay, but hold on. Dodo Rooster. I'm not I'm not above becoming that which I hate. We need to get you scaling a little faster, but I mean, I'll just be real with you. It, it still kind of seems like this build is like a little ass. Street meat Jesus. <laughs> what, what a name. Um, okay, you need this. For sure. I do want to take a swan. I'm not going to buy the duck to enable it, though. Need to figure out how we're gonna get there, man. I mean, at this point, we could sell the otter and then start buying another one. I don't know about that, though. Um, this is this is tough. This is a tough one. Let's. You know what? I like winning. What you don't like winning? We gotta win some rounds here. Real voice. Stop making fun of me. I got my kid in daycare, restarting the economy single-handedly. Getting roasted out here for keeping the national GDP rising, getting just freaking bombarded every single day by a series of new, like, toddler born germs. What the heck is Jabated Turkey? It's an American Thanksgiving emote, I think. I need you to get stronger. Or you to get stronger. I honestly think you roll until you... Okay, sorry to do this to you, but... I think we can do that. Hold it for a second. This might be the rare, like, actually functional level 2 giraffe situation. Thank God we had exactly the right amount of HP to make that work. What do we have? Four? Four? Okay. You, we, at level eight, we got to take a bison. Thank you for hanging around, giraffe, but the bison must exist now. That's extremely big. And now we can actually... It's a tough call. <laughs> Okay, you don't buy these yet, even though it would give you a level two. Because the can is a buff in and of itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. This would be a huge win. I don't know if it's going to happen. Aphrodite's Venus. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, I mean, this one's a loss for sure, but... And we're not on lethal. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful thing. Get out of my face. <laughs> Can me. Buy me. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. There was another bison in there. No. No. Don't lie to me. Don't you sussy baka. I don't think this matters at all. You sold your level three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woo! Don't care, didn't ask, plus we still win. All right, hold on, hold on. Bison blind. That's why I should never play the bison, man. I don't have the... I don't have the fortitude to make it work. I don't have the demeanor required. Oh! Saved! <laughs> ah! 
And now I'm like, I'm just a scumbag. I mean, look at this, man. This is just nasty. We win these? That's, that's the believer threshold? Holy crap, we, we made it back. Just, just very lucky, quite frankly. Not sure if you noticed that we were extremely lucky there. We do have to rework the squad, which actually probably involves selling the bison, or sorry, selling the elephant. Um, start another rooster? You could probably think about it, but I'm, uh, I'm just going to be real with you. I'm kind of like a cupcake man here. Cupcake man, I'm a cupcake man. I can make a cupcake fast as you can. Turkey fly? No, that's for people who hate fun. I love fun. That's why I'm playing a Dodo level 3 rooster. A build that has a lot of variants built in. Okay, sell me. Buy me. Buy me. We do a little trolling here. Buy me. Until we're on lethal, we don't need to put a scorpion out there. So if we win this round, we don't need the scorpion. If we lose... Oh, the, the rooster's not going to spawn enough chickens, man. Hold on. Everyone chill. Chill, chill me. We're chilling. We're chilling. Oh, we're definitely chilling. We're definitely chilling. All the way back to Tom Green. Oh, you mean the best comedian of my of my time on Earth? You know what? Let's just put it like this for now, so we don't forget. I think it's too late for garlic. You're just like a scorpion eater, as far as I'm concerned. Come on, come on, come on, you piece. Juice me. Okay, I will sushi. Next time we'll get a level 2 cat out there. I, so, by the way, I'm, oh no, turkey tiger fly. <laughs> it's not turkey tiger fly though. Okay, hold on, hold on. Are we, we're, oh, oh dude, they got the, they got the perfect counter to us here. Um, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh... Um, the Scott's Tots episode of, uh, The Office, I can't handle that. I'm not good with cringe humor. Like, I'm not weak like that. Um, but there is one bit, like, Tom, uh, Tom Green goes to Japan. I have to run this for now, but you're gonna come out next time if we're lucky enough to win. Uh, and he's just filming in, like, front of this temple. And then an old man falls down the stairs in front of him. And he just laughs, like, points openly at the man and laughs at him for at least 45 seconds. <laughs> and it's... That's, like, my limit for cringe humor. Like, me watching that, I was like, first off, rude. Secondly, this is, like, the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. But thirdly, I was like, I would not have the stomach to do... Like, I would have to walk away if that happened to me in real life, I think. He also... I mean, there's some... I think we're kind of coming around on the... On the uh, jackass stuff as well. But, uh, like, to, to the fact that it's kind of cool again. But there's one where they're at a conveyor belt sushi... Or Tom Green's at a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. And he just puts on like a, a vibrating dildo onto one of the plates on the conveyor belt. And then like they watch it go around over and over. And then the chef like finds it and he chases him out of the restaurant with a big knife. It's, it's really good. I hate to say it, but it's like really funny. Sell Dodo? I would never. It's turning our 31, uh, 31 three chicks into 49 three chicks. 
You don't need it? I'm not selling it. Don't care, didn't ask. Sell all the animals and start over. The bootstrap build. That'd be a fun challenge if I uh, cared enough to click bait, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Herm. 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 <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, this is pretty bad. But... Just roll a parrot dodo. It should give the dodo 25 attack, I guess. I thought about the otter. What the heck? what the heck is this? One one up deer tiger turkey fly? What the heck? I'll roost you in second position. That might actually spell the death of me. God, I hate this build, man. Look at this. Okay, we're toasted. Look, I think we would have been toasted either way. I just hate this. I mean, we were wrong. You know what? You get what you deserve. How many wins do we get? Nine wins. Eight wins. Nine wins. Nine wins? How did we get 70 points with nine wins? They don't divide evenly. Anyway, we won. We'll run it back, obviously. I Like I said, I can't be mad. Like, I ran Dodo Rooster. Like, it's not like I was running the most honorable, like, creative build of all time. Please. Anything but horse. If it's another duck, I pog, okay? If it's a cricket, I pog. If it's a pig, I accept it. What the fuck? I mean, I guess you got no choice, man. Why not buy and then roll? Because I didn't want the otter to be forced to buff the duck, but that's like... I mean, I guess it wasn't forced. We could have just rolled one duck and then saved the otters. I'll be the huge husbands. This is an abandon. <laughs> if, you're, if you're weak, this is an abandon. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we lose these. That's okay. Look, you can't be too picky here. I would definitely sell a 3-4 duck. In order to, to finance something better. Losing the first two rounds doesn't matter that much. And you know what? I'm looking at this. We may draw. We may draw this one. We did draw this one. I'm not thrilled with what they want from me here. You... <laughs> I'm sorry. The ability to get a 4-4 dog out there matters. That, that's worth something. Okay? You can roll an ant out there for a second. You gotta give it a try. You don't have to. Shrimp dog? Dude, I'm just gonna be real with you. I think the shrimp is genuine ass. <laughs> I know I've been calling everything ass lately. But it's the truth, okay? The Canucks are ass, and The Witcher on Netflix is ass. I never said The Queen's Gambit was ass. I just said I thought it was maybe like a little overrated. There's a, there's a difference. I did not say The Queen's Gambit was ass. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be caught dead saying that. Six, seven. On it, pill me. Buy me? We should have done buy me sell. Eh, it doesn't matter too much in this case. Uh, freeze me. Honestly, I'll freeze a badger here. Why not? I'll freeze a spider in a pill. Like, that's, I don't know what, that's 17 gold to get no value? Let's do it. You came into Chib's chat last night and called it ass? 
No, I said it's shit from ass. That's that's different. We win these. I didn't call it ass, I called it shit. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to understand. Okay, we have to do it like this to get the buff. I'll take it. Dude, I don't know. I think you can freeze a bison for prospects in the future. We might get to a level three. It wouldn't be that surprising. You can actually roll a kangaroo, even though it's one stat lower than you'd normally like to see. And then that's all we wanted to see was garlic. And now that we see garlic, this ain't so bad, man. This seems fine. Okay, we will sell the otter. Thanks, but no thanks. We'll buy a swan. We'll roll. We'll roll. Mm, you know, we can buy and then combine. You're, you're not wrong, by the way. We do have a great track record. When we pill a swan. It's, it should be like a stats 101 lesson, right? Like, hey, on runs where he pills a swan, he, he has a 100% 10 win rate. This is a great time to have some garlic. I respect this build, but I don't think it's going to get you there quite yet. Thank you, by the way, to whoever's going off in chat about the Squid Game being overrated. Not because I agree with you, but because it's going to take a lot of the heat off me for not enjoying the Queen's Gambit. I, I respect and appreciate that. What am I... I didn't even do anything. I didn't do anything this whole turn. All I did was roll. Your take saved me. This is not good. <laughs> paid chatter, paid chatter. Well, I think, like, here's the thing. I think Squid Game is good. I'm just, like, very um, cynical about the concept of a second season. We need an animal. I want to buy an animal. Like, I get that it ended with, a like, a, a pseudo kind of cliffhanger. But, like, I felt like it was a cliffhanger that wasn't really asked for. Not asked for. Like, they could have just had it come to, like, a reasonable conclusion. But instead, they were like, hey, you know, this, they, we're going to lose this one, too. Should not have combined. You're right, you're right. That being said, like, again, I also, I believe in the principle of if the show is good, let them screw up. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Like, I think they've earned a chance, even though this has nothing to scale with yet. I'm still rolling. Um, I think they've earned a chance to, to try For season two. Give him a chance. Oh, you son of a... Hold on, we make it? We make it? We don't make it. We don't make it. Ah! <laughs> All right, so that's going to be a doubter payout. I was... A, I, look, I got a little on focus there. What can I say? We're running it back again. Triple beavers... Why not? Double fish. <laughs> I like a frigid masseuse. That's a scary thought, right? Uh, 
we lose round one. I can live with that. Have you seen the second Hunger Games? I imagine it'll be that. Don't put me in that in that quagmire, Lois. As the as a noted Hunger Games catching fire defender, I don't know what to think when you when you tell me that it's gonna be catching fire. What the heck? Juice me, squeeze me, kill me. We lose this, by the way, but whatever. It's round one. Who cares? Who cares? My, yeah, my Corsi is off the fucking charts right now. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Combine me? You can you can roll a giraffe early, especially if we get like some garlic or something. Um, so let, let's buy the giraffe if we're gonna roll it. Let's buy an otter. I don't really care. I, that was like the one thing you couldn't hit, you piece. You can totally roll a kangaroo. And then... I think you're gonna do it like... Like this. What's Corsi? It's like when your favorite hockey player sucks, all you have to do to win an online argument is be like, nah, dude, they don't suck. Like, I know they look like complete garbage every time they touch the puck, but look at this stat that uh, is like every... How many times when they touch the puck does the puck move more forward than it moves more backwards? And it's like... You know, then you're like, oh, he has one of the top 30 courses in the league, actually. I need to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> Especially once we roll past the dog. That's where things get a little... A little spicy. They're very nice. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm buying things that are good. For leveling up fast to try to get to a bison. This is... I'm gonna cure my bison uh, blindness this time. You piece. Dude, that was insanely good luck for us there. I like this. I don't mind this in the slightest. Hit me. Very good. Why don't you just... Why don't you just stab me? We're almost at a level three. That garlic is going to be insanely... If, dude, if we get a bison, this could roll. What the heck? This seems fun. Germa viewer? Germa viewer spotted? Not because they did badly, but because they ran a cool hedgehog. Okay, okay. We got a level three fish. This is great news. Now we can roll bison. I gotta I gotta slow down the APM. I gotta roll bison. Just look for bisons. Like this is now an autopilot run. We can actually sell the beaver if we like as well. We don't have to do it for those, nor these, although a deer is always a little tempting. You could def- okay, your time has come. Goodbye, beaver. Hello, monkey. Freeze me. I'm just- I, I'm so paranoid. You know what? I'm optimistic. I'm bullish on our bison chances next round. I just look over at chat and I'm just begging to not see anything that says bison, bison, the Mr. Bison. I think we're doing okay for now. What the heck did you do to your crab, man? It's a 13-4, that's not gonna get you there. Doubters, honestly, like, rip to you. You had, you had some good wins earlier today. You got some serious issues now, though. Pill the otter? He's just chilling. I'm, he's, I got no quarrel with the otter. Horse, dude. What are you thinking? Just an honest, simple question. Horse? Like, really? 
Hold on, hold on, we draw these. <laughs> bison, bison, I saw it. I saw it. How do you like them apples? I got her number. Okay, now this, this is still working really well for now, but soon the bison will outscale the fish, which is good news for us. Um, absolutely no, no corals putting one of those up there. We can freeze this, and I think we could freeze this. I do love a scorpion. I have faith that we will get one in the future. We're not selling the fish. The fish is going is not going bye-bye. If we 10 win this, which I actually think is fairly likely, we gotta put a lot of respect on, on the giraffe's name. Not typically the, the tier three you're looking for, but has done some awesome work for us. Penguin, penguin's not there. Penguin's not it. I love an autopilot run, man. Like, look at this. We're just, we're just buying foods. Okay, now you're starting to get a little scary. Oops. Oops, we win. Look at it. It's like, it, you know, on the like last episode of Survivor when they walk by the corpses of everybody they voted off the island? Like, that's what it's like playing Super Auto Pets for me. It's just constantly like reminiscing over all the builds that I popularized and then just mercilessly trouncing them on route to 10 easy wins. They stopped doing that like 20 seasons ago. Oh, he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. They're bringing it back. I don't know. I don't know that. Here's the thing. The tiger, it doesn't really work with anything here. I wish it did. I mean, you, you could roll it with the kangaroo, but I sleep. I sleep. I'm a happy man right now. I'm, I'm very content where we stand. Like this is a this is a dang good squad, man. We got no, we got no concerns whatsoever. Look at this. Hey Steve, five six nine three. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. One for each win we're liable to get. I mean we're at well actually one for each half of a win that we're liable to get. It's even even more bullish on our wins. We can freeze the scorpion now. Even though it makes our shop worse, my personnel opinion is that if you get to lethal, you sell your giraffe and or your monkey and you roll one to two scorpions. Okay, finally, now, now we've got a real threat. They're, they're rolling a sniper build. They are going to own me. I give respect to Tindil's build here. I love a snipe build, even when it beats me. Blessed are the forgetful, for they get the better even of their dang blunders, you know? Honestly, I'm going to say Monkey is going bye-bye for a bit here. It, it's a tough decision. I, I take no pleasure in it. Um, we're going to stick to scaling the unit most likely to benefit our, our kangaroo. Remember what I said about double scorpions? Remember how you said, no, don't do it? I never had a choice. You're getting this next time for sure, for sure. Nah, you don't do it, you're so scaly. <laughs> you son of a, whoa! <laughs> I like this leopard snipe build. I, it's just a shame you had to taint it with your, your dodo build as well. Okay, now we're on lethal. This is necessary. Yeah, we do need, we need some melon armor. We didn't get any melon armor. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that maybe the six HP will be uh, will be relevant. Ah, we could have sold giraffe and rolled two scorpions. That would probably be better. But 
What can I say? I was pogging. This looks like a more traditional build. I don't sweat this. I'm sweating it. We lose. All right. Well, but dude, you know what? We did get it. I can't help but feel like two Scorpions would have done better for us there. But we did get the six wins or more. Fell off kind of fast, but 